What is a perfect 100 IQ club? It's Dakar here with yet another banger of a game. This time, full game commentary. It's the Zach top matchup. I'm Rengar. I got an Ivern on my team. We're already invading. Ivern's invade is really strong because he throws that Q and then everybody just gets a dash to it, right? Like, that thing is just deceptively strong, especially if you're caught out like the Rex I was. It was obvious he was going to have to flash there. Also, he's like, he has no reason to be so aggressive here, walking up like that. That doesn't look like bait to me, that looks like a freaking, looks like he's baiting his team, you know? No bueno, no bueno, buddy, and the free first blood to us. He's, uh, he's probably tilted, right? Like, a lot of junglers are like that, dude. Like, oh, you guys aren't with me. You don't listen. I'll just, I'll just run it down then, I guess. I guess I'll just die. Haha, -ha, XD. I broke that plant because it can, if he's moving to the red after, like, he's just stubborn, he's going to run to the red immediately, then, uh, it just slows him down a tiny, tiny bit off his respawn run back to camps. That's whole purpose. Just couple seconds and uh, it's not like I was gonna get the lane and really have much to do there anyway you know may as well do that so yeah th this is uh, very convenient got first blood got the 400 gold we are flee oh yeah and Rex I know flash is a huge tool for his uh, his level 3 into gank right highly reliable ganks if he has flash if he doesn't have flash you kind of just get to walk away from him so Everything going really well for us in the lane phase here. Uh, I have the extra, the free 400 gold, which really accelerates my initial buy. I'm not really gonna back here. That's obvious. That would be a, like that would just be the worst back ever. Just a nice habit to have to be channeling your B pretty much whenever you like enter a brush or you're you've got downtime. If you're not gonna be active on the map and moving around. Just channeling your B can save you if you get like kind of weird cheese, you know. Get that set up. That's like a soft cheater setup right here. Of course, the way the waves work now makes cheaters like even more effective. Cheater. Uh, what I mean by cheater is where you shove on wave three, get it under the turret, completely under the turret, and then walk away and either look to back look to rotate down. Uh, mid Rome isn't the strongest, especially as Rangar. Maybe as another champion you could make that work. But uh, you can also look for a an invade, right? I, I tend to say cheater invade. This Yasuo, I just remembered. This poor guy had to deal with a 2v1 lane all game. It was pretty ridiculous how stupid like the the Ivern Zed were and oh my god and then you're gonna see Ivern had like no CS all game too or Ivern Zed had no CS all game shit was pathetic bro that's the E glitch that should not have jumped they shouldn't buffer it like that bro that shit's so annoying so now they get to chase me down I would have just eat him and walked away same exact thing happened yesterday as well so I am going to uh, just sit here kiting away, 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 away. Nice. And so I drag him away from the turret, or away from the wave. This means he's going to, at the very least, he's going to lose a little bit of CS from chasing me. Get my Tiamat. 1200 gold is a really, really good uh, spike for top lane. Tiamat just gives you the wave clear. Cheater, cheating, cheat. Cheat the wave clear, right? <laughs> if you've got a wave clear item, you basically just one-shot these things, and it creates a ton of free time that you otherwise wouldn't really have. Now, I'm not looking for lethal on him because he is Zack, so he's going to have his stupid little passive. Even if I knock him down, he's just going to have the passive, all the blobs, and I didn't know where Rek'Sai was at the time that trade occurred, so I, I couldn't do it safely. And Rek'Sai had just been top, right? So, like, you got to be respectful. Gotta respect this shit. Moving, uh, decide not to, because Ivern has to reset. I'm gonna go check it. I'm not starting it, though. There he is.
Four stack W makes him uh, lose the ult chance. For Kitan. Ah, couldn't get that Q. He gets the Rek'Sai side though. Huge. So cleansing that and not getting ulted was enormous. Uh, maybe the Asso wasn't going to ult anyway though. I don't know. But that delayed him just long enough to the team to, uh, to where the team gets to get a clean ro uh, rotation over there. They get to clean up. I think we got two of them, right? Or did we only get one? Yeah, we only got one. Alistar got one of them. That's okay though. We don't give them all three, which means they cannot get six. And six is like the, you know, if you win one fight, if you don't even like ace near their base, you can still freaking end the game. Like it's crazy how heavy the, the push potential is once you get those. Although you... Here's one cool thing about uh, recent patches, especially for Rengar Top. A lot of people aren't rushing Bramble Dust. They don't value it compared to, because it's like, it builds into Thornmill. It doesn't build into like all these super OP tank items, like the Frozen Fist, like the, uh, what was the other one? Oh, there's Fraxine again. Just in here staring at the mid. I was like, oh my god, these guys are losing to me. Oh, idiots. Idiots. It's so unfair that this guy gets 2v1 all game and he freaking he gets to lose, right? Because like he's obviously so much better than the Zed. Obviously, I looked up the Zed after the game too. The Zed is a duo only player. He only queues up when he gets to duo with uh, I think with Kaisa, one of the bot laners. Pretty sure it's Kaisa. Use a four Q because I'm uh, running out of time. Ah, so close. Almost got it. I got the wave cover at mid, so I didn't really lose anything there. The team lost resources, right, overall, but I personally did not get set behind on that, that roam. Especially gold-wise, because I got the kill. Team didn't get set behind either. Gold-wise, but XP-wise we did a little bit. Because the also got, or the Zed got forced to reset. That's off of the off of a uh, death rather than off of the rotation, right? Like, if they don't die, how do you miss that? If they don't die, they're not missing the XP. I'm gonna hit this proxy. I don't care about those few mages right there. I care more about getting this proxy quick and easy. Oh, Tiamat! Oh, we've missed you. And son of a cult! Hubris! It's cool they hotfix buffed a few of the things, like buffed and nerfed, because the Hubris was, it's such a cool name. It gives you a statue, it stacks, just like old Sword of the Occult, like it's, it's beautiful. But it was useless. If you bought that, like, uh, before the hotfix, it was really fucking bad. Now I'd say it's like slightly balanced, uh, leaning more towards overpowered in my opinion. But it's like slightly balanced, whereas it was super underpowered. This is like, why buy that when you could buy something else, you know? It's like, oh boy, I could get 10 takedowns and I would have plus 20 on a 60 second timer. <laughs> I like it now. Oh, there's your boyfriend. This guy, man. Ah, okay. I forgot to rewatch this after the game. The ult right there. Like, he, he flashed, got the ult knockup, and I'm, like, kind of standing there. Whereas I didn't get to, like, cue him after I landed. I was just like uh, so confused on the the like duration of the CC there. It might have been extended extended a little bit by tick rate, but who knows? Feels nice leaning back. So right now I'm recording this uh, during maintenance. Does he have to summon Daisy to take this? I bet he does, huh? A champion that is required to ult to do objectives. 
Otherwise, he just gets his ass whooped. His arse whooped. Come on. One. Gotta get two. There we go. Wahoo! The selfish fuck was gonna try to take that. When he is, like, you are already literally receiving every single gank of the game, buddy. Like, don't even. Look at the scoreboard. Seven, three, and one, and then what's Z? He's like three and three and one or something? In a hard 2v1 lane? That's unreasonable, buddy. I'm in a 1v2 lane, you're in a 2v1 lane. And I, I'm pretty sure I got higher CS. I definitely got more KP. Come on, buddy. Come on. And this is after in champ select. Someone was like, oh, you don't like getting Zed? I was like, yeah, dude, Zed players are selfish as shit. They don't offer any CC. They don't offer any magic damage. They take all the side waves. They try to fucking take all the kills. Like, they're just a terrible champion to have on your team. It's not a teammate, you know? Ooh, that cover. Ult, move up. Goodbye, Mr. Rexon. I should have uh, hydrated right there. I failed the Hydra. Oh, maybe it was on cooldown. I don't think so, though. Because remember, I used it at the wave, and the, the Hydra cooldown's like 10 seconds? I'm already taking the thing, and it's like nearly dead. You don't need to mark that. You need to go mark the wolves if those are up. You go walk away. It's that efficiency thing. It's like how a lot of Ivor players just refuse to get. I can't go there. Not yet. Just on him. Uh, it's like a lot of Ivor players refuse to go for the Krugs when red is up. And it's like. Dude, give me, give me the red, and you take the grubs, because it's quick, you know? Ah, what a poor fight for us. I took, I might have taken two turret shots there. Also, Kaisa should have been rotating. I already covered the wave. Remember, I got the wave, I rotated, we hit, um, what was it? Rek'Sai. He got the Drake, I killed Rek'Sai, or, or I smack Rek'Sai, move up to Grom, kill him, get Grom. Proxy wave! And she had already been moving up towards mid at that moment. Like, there was no reason for her to not go mid. This is also the duo abuser with the, uh, the Zed. Like, they're both fucking head cut off monkeys. These guys have no idea how to play this game. That's why they duo only! Blech. Blech. Duo only, bro. Why don't they remove that shit, man? Just remove it beyond diamond. And then I will never have to deal with the duo queue ever again. How fantastic would that be? Because like anytime someone's duo queue, they don't listen to anything, they don't they don't ever use resources correctly for the team. It's always like for their little butt buddy. It's like your butt if your butt buddy was good, it would like make sense from a team perspective, but you guys are just fucking jerking each other off. Come on, man. He's like, why'd you tank that? Little oh, dickhead, I am carrying the living show this game. What do you want? That is Zach. Why can't everybody just be a perfect teammate like me? If I'm doing poorly, you know what I do? I give the resources to everybody. You guys don't see it on the YouTube, because I never... Like, why would I upload a game where I do poorly, you know? Nobody wants to watch that. Nobody cares about a game where I go, like, 0-8 or something. But it's like, I will leash for my team non-stop. I will... Con I will always die for a team fight. Period. If it means enabling the, the like, Katarina or Viego on my team to get a reset, I will always die to give them that reset. Yeah. 
I'm a hubris. Ah! <laughs> My heart breaks. I think I'm. Ah, oh, no. So I think I needed to do a wider turn off. See this? I go like straight like that. I'm like cutting the wall. I need to go like on a wide turn. Ah! Fail. Fail. Ugh. Yikes. Hmm. Send you back. So does it always send you at the I don't think it does. Like on the first one it sends you back real far. But because I failed to um hit the turret there, the first one was actually the like the second time I got in the rift, right? I guess that's something I could just do in practice tool. I could go mess with it. Because I need to see exactly how it works on the first and second charge. I think the damage goes up with travel time too, right? Like the the further you dash on the thing, the further you you drift in with Shelly. <laughs> He's traveling. Does Zetna? Ha oh yeah, I think he rushed Voltaic. He does. He doesn't have uh, Hydra, so he could clear the wave real quick. The guard here walking at him. I couldn't even tell that he didn't have freaking his knockup. Like uh, when I TP'd and then he queued me before like turning and having Q3, I thought he already had it. I hate that. Like, Yon and Yasuo, you can't tell if they have the freaking thing or not. Like, you can't see or hear it. I guess I could turn up in-game sounds or something. I don't know. There's just no clarity. League's becoming Dota, where we just have so so much less like, signs of what's going on. Or, <laughs> the fucking... You guys see that post is like someone with epilepsy. When storm surge goes off, they straight up like it, the flash is way too hard, and they just can't see anything, and it's like gonna trigger their fucking seizures. Like comes Nautilus, bail rotate. We don't want that. We don't want that man. We don't want that Nautilus. We don't want that. We don't want that bro. Now he does. He won't clean up though. We got one. That was a good fun. Good job, Zedley. It all worked out, because he TP. Hit the Telepuerta. Oh my god, they didn't spread the damage correctly. If you overkill one blob, it should do damage to the others or something. What do you think of that? Because it's not like Zack's a skill champ. It's not like Zack deserves like high quality of life on, on the team fights and shit like he scales way too hard he's way too safe in lane phase and stuff I was in here debating what to buy I'm like kind of in item limbo I really want to get so in my mind I really want spirit visage but I also think I really need eclipse spirit visage is really really good because we've got Ivern his shields and then my heals and then obviously countering the uh what is it Zack but it's like, without that extra damage, I don't know. I don't know. Here's the only th uh, lame thing about Hubris on Rengar. Ah, Rek'Sai, you piece of fucking shit. I failed to E the Rek'Sai though. I hit the other guy. If I snare Rek'Sai, I get to walk away. Or maybe Yasuo catches me, actually, because the wave was coming up, right? Maybe he would reach wave, dash on me. I don't know. That was a very transparent movement on my part. It was kind of kind of cringe. A little bad, a little weak of a rotation. Especially because I'm strongest on the map, right? Like, if you get caught when you're strongest, it's fortunate I didn't have a shutdown there. But uh, when you are the strongest person on the map, and you get caught, that's like an enormous pressure sink that you create. 
Yeah, I'm sitting here debating, do I want Sterics, do I want this, do I want that? You know what? Let's get close. I could have gotten another Ruby Crystal here too. So we can play. So we got two. I'm on 27 stacks on the Hubris. So right here, if I uh, if I bought this before the hotfix, I would have 16. So I'd have minus 11 AD right now. It's like about minus 330 gold-ish on the efficiency. But also, the less obvious change is the 90 seconds. Having it active for 90 seconds as opposed to 60 is an enormous difference. For her, 50%. Yeah, 50%, sure, but also just, like, amount of uptime versus downtime. Which you'd actually have to go in and, like, look at the game and see, like, oh, how long was it up? How long was it down? Blah, blah, blah. It's funny, a lot of people don't realize when you're talking about item efficiency and stuff like that, you gotta actually be looking at, like, the, uh in-game scenarios, like the actual scenarios, as opposed to just the straight-up stat, the brute force uh, numbers. Like, for example, if you are alive and moving around for five minutes, and you only procced it once, or maybe you procced it twice, you procced it once in the beginning of the fight, and then another time five seconds later, so it's up 95 seconds out of that five minutes. It was only effectively up for a fight for like five seconds. <laughs> Fucking Avengers, bro. These guys won't leave me alone. Got my GA though. Nope, not the Sterix. Don't do it. Yeah, gotta remember that this is uh, 3,200, not 3,000. I like that as well. I like that change. I like the Zonia's change. I like the stopwatch removal. The game definitely moved, uh, in many ways, the game definitely moved, like, in a good direction. Nautilus, man. Something wrong with this guy. Game moved. <gasps> oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Love yawning. Game moved in a beneficial direction for, like... Just game balance, in my opinion, in in regard to the items. Uh, items. The game itself, where like it's non-stop skirmishing. There's an objective everywhere at all times. Like it's a little too teamwork. Uh, teamwork requisite. You know, we don't have voice comms, bro. We're not allowed to talk to each other. I had zero faith he would hit this one. I'm pretty sure we won. Crickside wasn't there in time, and yeah, we just wipe him now. It's no button. There's nothing you guys can do, man. There's nothing you can do, dudes. Especially with the brush right there. See, now it's gonna be up for roughly 100 seconds, or maybe maybe 97 seconds, right? Is the effective uptime on this. But for a team fight, it was only up for 7 seconds ish. 8 seconds. However long it took us to kill those guys. And I didn't have the 37 proc, right? I didn't have that for the entire team fight. I only had the 27, 29, 31, dot, dot, dot. It incrementally went up. Sorry, not 27, because I think it started at uh, 29 in the first buff. Oh yeah, that confused the shit out of me, dude. Like, I, I was like, why did the wolves just follow me all the way over here? Why did they run to the ground? Did I spook these things? Gromp let out a, a guttural cry for help. Save me! 
Oh, the wolves! We're coming! We're coming, forest friend! Forest, that didn't matter. I fucking slaughtered that thing. I had frog soup. Get our edgy boy! Edge of Night's really good up against this, because they got the Rex I interrupt. They've got the Zack interrupt. They got just a whole bunch of cancer that I gotta deal with, and so Edge of Night's really nice. Mr. Knight, there he is. That's a GG. I can't stop yawning, man. I can't just stop joking. Come on. Let's get on her. So we end the game with 41. Look at the statue. 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 No. I forgot to look at the statue. Man. Oh well. Thanks for watching, Wranglets. I appreciate you guys, and I hope you have a wonderful day.